attached to that unit. We have the nose piece, and you're going to want to inspect it. If you notice, there's a red O-ring on it. That needs to fit into your mask or your respirator and provide us a nice tight fit so we're not using excessive amounts of air. You'll also have a little safety valve here on the end. If you pull this out, that'll stop the airflow, and as soon as it's an on-demand system, as soon as you start breathing, it'll actually pop that unit in. If you get into a spot where you're tired, maybe it's a 100 degree day outside, and you need to take a little breather, you can actually take your finger, push on the end of the cap, and it'll give you a huge abundance of air, more than you can possibly inhale, but it'll actually cool you off in the process. You can push that through, get your breath back around, to understand what you're doing, and exit. So from this piece, you're gonna to wanna to inspect the air hose as it comes down, and again, you're gonna to wanna to clean this up at the end of the use. Comes into another additional little fitting that's very unique. You cannot hook the air hose to this, you cannot hook the air lines. The only thing that will actually attach to this is the nose piece. And you twist it, to lock it in place, and then it releases. You can see the different size of the coupler. It's not even close. This is the only piece that I'll make here. Again, you wanna make sure you keep this unit closed so you don't get any contaminants in it. Don't lay it down in the mud puddle while it's open. These types of items. Inside the bottle, you have a built-in regulator here as well, which will allow either to hook up the escape bottle or it'll allow the line to run up to your side and into your respirator. From here, this is where your air hose attaches to that actually provides air. The respirator we use is a North style respirator which we've all been fit tested. The major difference is you cannot put the cartridges on this unit. We have a small and we have a medium and large. And the ML is right here at the top, it clearly states inside. You got the exhaust port here, and then you have this section. To apply this, you actually have to be able to turn the unit and clicks back. And as you can see, it makes a nice secure fit. You cannot knock this off. You have to actually release a two button process for safety, pull that button back, and then pull the sections out. Again, once you get done, you want to wipe down the respirator, install it into a sealed bag, and put it back in a protected box. We have a variety of different air regulators that actually go with the unit. When you store these, you're always going to have to have the plunger backed all the way off, and then you're going to adjust it back on for the amount of air that you need. Majority of the time, you're going to want to be around 90 pounds coming to the entrance in the tank. Again, we have this twist style lock, and these will be, need to be kept in a protected toolbox so we don't damage the lenses. If you were to leave this tightened all the way up in storage, it'll actually affect the diaphragm to where you'll hook it up to the tank and the initial burst from the tank can blow the diaphragm. And then the, this regulator needs to be sent in for service.